That question in the title, it's a good question. Like actually, what does that mean? What is this thing? FPE is Fundamental Paper Education. That is the unofficial name the fandom of Fundamental Paper Education gave it. The original was called Basics and Behavior, so you won't find the original unless you know that, which is actually a music video for a fan song of the same name about Baldi's Basics and Behavior and Learning, which is actually a parody of mascot horror games and edutainment games at the same time from seven years ago. A macro of fandom that was scared of it despite it being intentionally unscary as a parody. Uh, do you get what I'm putting down or is all just thrown in the air? An edgy six-year-old fan song for a game that looks like this? Friends, oh, 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 hi there. Let's go camping, let me touch ya. Recently got a music video by someone named KT with too many A's about OCs with no actual relation to anything. Just decided to get 10 million views out of nowhere. And a crazy, crazy fandom. How did this happen? I'm not gonna waste your time like every other video I see on the planet on eARth and just hop right into it. If you want more animation and analysis, or maybe cultural ones in this case, sub to allocations, also hit the bell when you subscribe because what is the point of subbing for notifications if you don't get notified? That is something YouTube still needs to answer for. What is FPE? I just kind of explained it, but Fundamental Paper Education is an artist's original characters in a similar setting to the indie horror game from 2017. Explain what Baldi's is already requires, a doctorate in terminally onlineology. So I'll try to keep it brief. It's a horror parody of games directed at babies about a crazy killer teacher. Baby still got scared and made another angsty phantom. Okay, moving on, that's all we need to know. What is the paper version? It's really cool looking, honestly, the way the paper moves, like dang. Dang, bro. Well, I've been sub to Katie before this. They are a very talented and unique artist. And by Katie, I mean Katie. <laughs> This was their most impressive work yet by mastering two unique styles, the first one being After Effects paper mache's moving in a school and the second one being traditional and ironically in a more untraditional dream sequence similar to how Miss Circle will become my trad wife. What? There isn't any dialogue to the storytelling so you have to do research to find out the characters names such as looking at the description for the video. The premise is almost the same as Baldi though a little easier to take seriously. A very high bar, but I know. But the character designs look a lot more appealing, and not just for the hot characters. They also just make the world generally look kind of pretty. Like, aw, look at that, that's cool looking. Aw, that's so pretty, that's a pretty sun. Yeah, that's pretty. And though kind of redundant, there is a lot of overlap with all of Katie's designs. But really, escaping murder teachers for doing bad on your tests is a common theme between the original Baldi's game and this one, so... I don't want to be that guy who beats around the bush for the answer, so the rest of the video will answer the question in the video title, How Did Fundamental Paper Education Take Over the Internet? First one, quality. As mentioned prior, the quality is just very high, with two very separate but polished styles that are visually impressive as heck. Very creative in the first one being paper floating about in a 3D space. Some things are a bit weird, like uh, Miss Circle's hips for getting the memo. I, what happened there? I mean, people tell me hips don't lie, but those clearly did. Also, there's a lot of creativity, even though the characters do kind of look pretty darn similar in this style. The visual appeal is like eating candy, right down to the stomach ache I get after. The palette is always pretty with KD's work, and this circle, the big bad, has a compass for a weapon, so that's kind of baller. Or circular. Algo and previous establishment. The fact that this is similar to an already established fandom that I honestly thought died, Kinda of gives it some footing in the YouTube recommendations right off the bat and stays true enough to the original to feel familiar to other fans, but hey, it's pretty! It improves from Baldi's basics with the concept by actually instilling dread, drama, and stakes. How is the Tumblrific fan song with Ta Ta Titty Teachers a more tumultuous and terrifying ting to see? I will go over this later, but similar videos under the same sound as how the short form content game works these days on all platforms. It also kind of is annoying for a way for Corpos to secretly enforce controlled creativity and destimulate it so they can just bomb it out the same bile over and over again. Luckily, it looks like people like Katie have unintentionally fought back by making original animation that trends on its own without too much reliance for the old. 
Also, KD has a few things blown up already, so she's quite experienced, especially with trends and animation. Subject matter part one. This this title is like this because ah, it's just, just there's a, there's a couple of pieces of subject matter that if I type it out in the description, YouTube's gonna hate me. There's actually some drawn gore in this. Edgy Tumblr kids probably love this because when you're 14, what horrifying thing don't you want to see during your developmental years? And then, 10 years later, you realize, oh my god, I was exploding people's faces in that game. What was wrong with me? It was kind of a shockingly unpleasant thing to see in this video. So not only was it very shocking because just, it kind of came out of nowhere, but especially the way she drew the expressions, continually getting stabbed with the gore coming out, is very... Oh, I felt so bad for the kid, getting just maimed and defamed. Ugh. Split in half, I could empathize with that pain. It's like modern internet, and I'm getting jump scared by a cartoon getting just eaten. They don't make them like they used to, bro. But I guess they do, since this exists. It also brought up the stakes, so, you know, more edgy, angsty drama that, you know, said 14-year-old Tumblr girls love. Subject matter part two. I've alluded to this and made several Nuxtaku tier jokes, bug, hentai, and human trafficking, but sadly this actually isn't a joke, this is a actual point. Miss Circle is just an objectively sexy character, like, I'm sorry, people are mad that the fanbase sexualized her, but... Like, you can do that with some characters, but there's but, like, no human on planet Earth with boobs three times bigger than their heads and so perky they point yes, up yes, and to yes, the sides. Girl. You get one, or you plastically get both. That's just not how gravity works, my friend. <laughs> okay, so we can't blame the fandom for everything. Actually, three times the head is probably underestimating. My god, she's got a tiny head. No wonder her classes keep failing her. She doesn't have much of a mind herself, she just wants to eat their fucking faces and traumatize them. What a monster. And she's got like a three inch tall head. And like, I mean, if you put some of that boob in the brain, then maybe you wouldn't have to go through some of that mind pain. And also the weird three mouth tumbler people like that. I, the three mouth thing with the little, the cat smile, the smug thing. I don't get that. I know some people do. And I don't think anyone who draws that are doing it because they don't think it's attractive. Just my experience. I don't mind every other part of the design. I uh, god damn it, I feel like a fucking porn addict by how much I analyze this smug teacher's cup size. But then again, people get into fights about anything being perceived as hot, which also helps the algos online. You gotta get some rage bait. I mean, you'll have one creep who goes after the completely innocent characters and the smug, perky boob teacup, which gets white knighted because she's a, I don't know, a 35-year-old minor somehow, by an even creepier prude, like Claude Judge, Frollo hypocrite looking ass. She is giving OnlyFans energy. I must burn her to ash. Sir, that it that is a child. Esmeralda? No, it is her fault. Her harlotry for revealing her shoulders in class. Okay, that was a fucking weird segment even by my standards. Who wants to talk about shipping? Shipping, yay, oh boy, are you oh, oh boy shipping. Oh boy, you know those teenage characters populating the school? I barely do. There's like 20 characters in here without any dialogue and some minute long animation. But hey. There's enough ship teasing and relationship hints that the 14 year old fangirls can go feral arguing about ships of characters that have never said a word to each other. And that will increase the engagement on TikToks and YouTube shorts that will appear with the weird Russian song, I love you Sasha, you love Joka. It straight up is dominating that sound. <laughs> Second result of both searches for both short term and long term content on YouTube. Then people ask, what is it? Then they search for it, and the plague spreads. Before moving on, I have one question for you, power scaling son or ship obsessed daughter. Trick question, your child was diagnosed with autism and ADHD either way, so you have an illusion of choice. But seriously, comment down below. And also comment below who would win in a fight. And also comment if they weren't related. If you had, like, you know, one person is just a ship or family and one's a power scaler family. If they met. Would they become a happily married couple that would have a very angsty and out-of-character storyline leading up to it prior? 
Fan cannon! This is short, because the video itself is short. A short. Did I, did I just type short? Anyways, the 20 or so characters that was breezed by in this short, but was still given vague enough introductions, is what creatives live for. I made fun of lots of people in this, but as someone who only had creativity growing up, seeing stuff inspire imagination by giving them enough of a hook to fill in the blanks for an entire ass fandom is a pretty damn charming thing. So go ahead and keep shipping weird, strange, hopefully not too damaged 14 year old people, I get. I don't know. Just avoid Discord servers, just, just please, please, God, if you're a kid and you're, just don't, no, no Discord for you, no. However, if you're an adult loser, such as myself, hey, I got Discord open for you. Just, just don't do any of the weird stuff that always ends up happening on Discord. Conclusion! I know video essay fans everywhere might be mad by the lack of awkward long pauses forced VHS effects and me trying to be entertaining, clearly it means I lack media literacy. Anyways, I just made you all a bit more literate about media. I cut through a lot of BS and actually informed you all today. This is not 100% confirmed by fact by any means, but this is why I think that fundamental paper education took the internet by storm. It was a bit of a mystery I was kind of looking into, so it's kind of fun to figure it out. At least come with a theory. <laughs> A combination of just enough previously established to get its foot in the door. You know, visually refined experience, stuff targeting different demographics that would inevitably argue, as well as demographics that would have infighting enough left to the imagination for fandom like, but most importantly, the cold mechanisms of the internet. There's a lot of video essays out there that portray themselves as experts on how something became popular fully neglect the objective and less interesting more cynical aspects like algorithm suggested videos how things spread many of these rise and fall type essays or things documenting the spread of something they neglect trends they neglect how the internet physically works and they opt for more like pathological emotional subjective perspectives and once again that is not to say that anything i am saying is the objective truth it is not i just think my theories are a bit more grounded because i look at analytics and i look at how the algorithm works like i think it's naive to neglect all of that stuff even if it's less entertaining but i'm not completely cynical at least not anymore i used to be a Cynical ugly bastard, but now I'm the Sigma Chad showcasing original art with full credit and spreading love for Original projects gives the creators more of a chance for success independent of big old corpo overlords And though YouTube doesn't pay a lot wow 10 million views does unless they've been demonetized in which uh, oh god So don't just spread the love for this video spread the original in a pinned comment and follow my socials and support your indies we can girl boss, and maybe we can even do a little gaslighting. But we ain't gatekeeping, sir. Ah, oh, heck no. Nah. We're subbing to allocations and we're spreading the love. I love you too, bros. Bye.